for working to learn how to design better schools for us. The videos you are about to see show real students doing real projects in and out of real classrooms. Hands-on project-based learning is how we really learn. Because we remember more when we do things like Critical thinking. Critical thinking. Working cooperatively. Making hypotheses. And extending what we learn. Now we're going to take you on a journey of our project. So sit back and relax and join the... And yeah. <laughs> so sit back and... <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. Green schools, exactly, you got it. I think a green school is where they do nature things. That it could be have a lot, a lot of um, plants um, around it. I think a green school would have plants on the roof of it. We are trying to figure out what materials these are and what they are used for. What is that? It's a big block of wood. What are your building materials here? We can't read the label, so we have to guess. Okay, this is like a piece of a rocker. And it's like made of straw. Try to figure out what it's made out of and what it's used for. It feels like a tire, kind of. That's made out of old tires. Cool. It's made from all sorts of colors, and it's really, really funky. It's made out of bottles. What makes this a green piece of wood is a bunch of chopped up pieces of wood that have been all glued together. Plastic, really? Mm -hmm. That's right. That is weird. It is made out of something that's chopped up, but it's not wood. When wheat is harvested, part of the wheat is used to make food, but part of it is thrown away. They chop it up and they press it into these boards and reuse it. What do you think that's made out of, Brendan? A seed? Right, it's sunflower seeds. We're supposed to build schools kind of like our own, but with our own ideas and... Hello, Mommy! <laughs> We're designing a school. We're designing a school. that they're all a little different, that not everyone had the same ideas. It's going to be exciting to see how different all these schools start to be actually when you start to, to build the models. So take us on a tour, and then af after we do that, then you guys are each going to decide where your buildings are going to be. Is that, um, <laughs> Does anybody have any idea where we are on here? to tell me why it's a good place? I think it's good because you can go swimming, you can go fishing, you can go boating. That could be like a water slide for like ants or something. And why is it called Springhouse Pond? Because... Oh, okay. What do you think your school could be built out of? Brick. Brick? Wood? Where do you guys think you're going to build your schools? Maybe it could be a tree house building, and you build in the trees, Seven. and then there's a ladder you could get up into it. This bridge is the cat's tail. Shaped like a cat's tail? 
I'm holding the so one for three and four. it's sunny? When it's sunny? And his name is What if the trail went through your school? That would be cool. Who has an idea as far as where they think the school should go? In the forest. Yep. We've got some plants around. So you could see all the nature and stuff around you outside. You could use the sun's light instead of using electricity. There's going to be a lab under the water. This is the library that I'm yeah, shooting? Yeah, the library. Miniature greenhouses. The exhaust pipe. When the rain, the water can go through the exhaust pipe from the roof. We wanted the playground so kids could have a place to play. This would give us an area of just for us after school. We wanted an underwater lab because it would be fun to explore and study the fish and frogs. We added a kid's lounge, a kid lounge so when kids had a break, they could have fun, a fun time. Also, it could be a study lounge. Big windows, sky, light, windmill, natural ventilation. Cisterns. Cisterns are important because they save a lot of water. Windmill gives us energy by the wind propels to make the machine move. Solar panel. Solar panels give us energy by trapping the sunlight that gets turned into electricity. Greenhouse, tree, big window. Green grass, green windmill, green roof. <laughs> All the things that give us energy are green. Yeah. 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 Yeah.